You are listening to Radio Cosmos. All night long. Bravo! My cosmos, little lady. Come on, Come on Jack. Break for 30 seconds. Come on, you are now listening to Bad Radio. Happy New Year and welcome to Bad Radio. Bad stands for business at a distance. This is a show about local businesses and business networking. We are live here in the studio and you can catch us on 105.5 FM, which is our terrestrial signal. Um, you can also listen to us on Bad our Bad Radio on several streaming platforms, including FloridaManRadio.com, the Florida Man Radio app, as well as iHeartRadio app. And starting today, uh, we are now a two-hour show from 10 to noon. So yay! Yay! <laughs> Um, I am your host, Angela Smarito, and in studio with me, we have DJ Heather, the producer. Good morning. Happy New Year. It feels so early. Uh, it's an hour. It was a little bit of adjustment. It is. It's not early, but I think it's just the paper <laughs> <laughs> not used to it. Mm. And next to me, I'm excited to see my girl, Melissa Jacob, with Striking Brand. Hello. I missed you, too. <laughs> I missed you. Yeah, it's good to be back. No, no, I can't wait to hear all about your cruise. <laughs> so Melissa is our uh, videographer as well as our co-host. So she's uh, she's got two hats. Actually, she has a lot more hats than that. But you know what? For for this purpose, that's what we're saying. Um, if you go to badradio.com under the episodes, you can see all of Bad Radio's videos from last year. Striking Brand has been producing our weekly YouTube videos and doing a kick-ass job. You don't have to dump me for that. <laughs> I was, no, no, I got it. Um, you can also see all of Melissa's work at strikingbrand.com. Um all right, so our first guest is no stranger to Bad Radio because he's been on the show several times and he's also one of Bad Radio's featured sponsors. Please welcome Mike Heyman with Liberty Property Inspections. <laughs> hey, thank you guys. Nice to see everybody again. Happy mm-hmm. New Year. And I missed all three of you, but aren't we short one? Hmm? Aren't we short one now? Short one, what? Four of y'all here last show I was on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, actually, Emily is, uh, like, she's venturing off. Sunday's, like, making her family day, so yeah. that's why we got yeah. Melissa we'll change here. Up. So well, she's still here in heart, yes. trust it gives me. gives me more elbow room to interact <laughs> with you ladies, so. No, but fantastic to see y'all again. Hope y'all had a The extra holiday. hour helps, too. Right? Yes. You get right? it all yeah, to yourself. I do talk, yeah. Well, this is really, last year was such a trial period of like what works and what doesn't work. And the two, having two guests on totally worked, but I really wanted to be able to have more time which with each one of the guests yeah um, every episode we were like god that flew by i know yeah. it's gonna yes. be weird i wonder after the second hour if we're gonna be like okay is this almost over <laughs> no you won't no? be i know you <laughs> you'll be like we needed yes, a third no. hour yeah. <laughs> it'll be one of the fastest hours two hour program in in your life it'll seem yeah. like i'm i'm so hour. ready for oh, it yeah. um the number to call or text in is 321-339-1055 and that's 321-339-1055 and this portion of Brad our bad radio is brought to you by Frogger's Bar and Grill. Hop in with food and fun. If you're looking for a place to go with friends or meet new ones, you have to go to Frogger's. Four locations, tons of TVs, and the best food you could imagine. Everything is fresh, never frozen. Check out their menu at Frogger's.com with locations in Mount Dora, Oviedo, Apopka, and Altamont Springs. Also, a huge thank you to our very own Liberty Property Inspections. So we're going to talk all about your business and your wife is business. <laughs> to today oh thank you thank you <laughs> um so let's dive into it bad radio is a show all about business networking and this portion of the show is going to be all about basically networking news and i think that that's really what i want to call it but it just sounds boring so i might have to figure out another way what to call this but i wanted to let you guys know that this portion of the show is um, brought to us brought to us by live your best life um, is an independent advocate for Green Compass USA, USDA certified organic organic hemp products. Terry Mandigo has been a friend of the show since the beginning, and now she's a sponsor. So yay! I have used Green Compass products for myself, for my son, for my family, and honestly, they've been just amazing. So um, give Terry a call to get more information about these products, or even to be a consultant. You can reach her at four zero seven six one six three one. Four, five. I just had lunch with her, actually. It was so nice. She has a background as a nurse, too. So oh, I know. That's what makes it so, like... She's so knowledgeable. Mm-hmm. And awesome. she's so passionate, too. Yeah. And she's kicking major ass with her <laughs> business. I, like, get so inspired when I talk to her. I'm like, you're doing what? Huh? Right. <laughs> right. Really? Um, 
Okay, so um, what I mentioned about this sponsorship, um, but today we're going to actually talk about BNI, Business Network International. And I know that, you know, oh, well, Mike's got his <laughs> BNI cup. Um, but I'm very excited because we have a guest caller in. We have um, Jamie Stein. He is the Director of Marketing Development for BNI Central Florida. Um, he leads a team of very talented and passionate BNI launch directors who, since 2006, have launched 62 new BNI chapters. And that is today collectively have over 1,500 members. So I know we've wow. got Jamie on the line. Can you go ahead and punch him in? Oh, you're there, Jamie? <laughs> I am right here. It's so great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for calling. I'm still working on this whole collar and things. So. <laughs> it's a work in progress. <laughs> Heather's given me. No, I the- gave you the thumbs up. I was letting you know. But, uh, okay. Hi, Jamie. Welcome. Yes, welcome to Bad well, Radio. Thank you so much. Um, so, and- go ahead. I was going to say, today is actually a very special day because in addition to the kickoff of the new season of your radio show. It's also the 38th anniversary of BNI. So 38 years wow. ago today, January 8th, was the founding of the very first BNI chapter in Southern California. I was about to ask, where was that mm-hmm. at? Wow, 38 years, that's insane. So that wasn't even on Facebook or the internet mm-hmm. at the time. No. Well, how did you do that? Were you there, Jamie? So I was not there. Um, I joined BNI in 2006. He would have been like five. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 2005. So I joined BNI in 2006 with my uh, health insurance business. Mm-hmm. And uh, today I work exclusively by referral. What I mean by that is it has been well over a decade, almost a decade and a half, since the last time I called someone who wasn't expecting my call. But when I first joined BNI, my business was not like that at all. I was cold calling. I was knocking on doors. I was doing all of the things most people in my business hate doing. I was buying sales leads and chasing them all over the state. In fact, I used to um, take the lead sheet and I would make calls by the side of a lake. Granted, it was on a flip phone because it was the (laughs) mid-2000s. And the reason I did it by the side of a lake is so at least I could pretend I had the corner office with a view. Wow, that works. It sounds kind of beautiful, to be honest with you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. Um, It was. And then at the end of the afternoon, I got to drive my little corner office away. Uh, (laughs) So it was great. Um, well, I wanted yeah. to have you call in today because I know that you are um, involved with growing the chapters in the Central Florida area. And so you, you just mentioned 62. So when I started BNI, I want to say two years ago, um, we had 35 uh, chapters. How many are there total today? So currently in Central Florida, we have 38 chapters at the moment. Mm-hmm. So I work in three different regions of BNI. We have Central Florida. Uh, which is really Orlando and the East Coast down as far south as Vero Beach. And then we also have the northeast corner of Florida, which uh, starts at Volusia County and goes up through the Jacksonville area, as well as the state of New Hampshire. Okay. Uh, So all those three regions work very closely together. Right. So I'm sorry. So it's 38 in central Florida, but then you have additional ones in Florida and other regions. Is that correct? Correct. Correct. So there are another 33 in Northeast Florida, and then we have 35 in New Hampshire. Wow. That's insane. I mean, that's amazing. Um, so tell us a little bit about how you got involved. And really, like I, when I said, when I emailed you last night, I was like, I want business owners and independent um, agents and stuff like that to understand how important, or like you said, how BNI can actually change their business. So absolutely, I've seen countless businesses changed by BNI, and all BNI really is is a group of business professionals who are working together. That realize that their efforts are much more powerful together as a team than just the sum of their individual parts. And so, BNI members get together on a weekly basis to share with each other what type of business they're looking for, and really expand and create opportunities. I mean, simply put, as a business owner, we can't be everywhere all at once. There's so many different networking events that I would love to be at, but unfortunately, there's only so many hours in the day. There's so many meetings I would love to be a part of. 
And so the theory of BNI is that if we can't be everywhere all at once, if we get a group of people together who are out and about, you know, with family and friends and working with their customers and trying to get new ones and participating in networking events, everywhere they go, they're taking you with you. And that's because you're training them on how to be your eyes and ears out in the rest of the world. Like your sales force. It's almost like you have your own sales team. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. I know personally through BNI, because at first, like, they have their systems, and everybody mm-hmm. knows it's like when you do your 60 second, you, um, you ask for a specific referral. And at my first, my, in my head, I was like, yeah, no, I don't want to just limit it to one ask because uh, if somebody doesn't know that person, then they're going to check out. Mm-hmm. Um, I learned pretty quickly that that's not true <laughs> because I asked for a specific, I, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to follow the rules. And I asked for a, a specific referral, which is a big law office here. It's the law offices are the Beninati law offices. Um, and I kid you not, Jenny Andrews in our group, mm-hmm text me like in 30 seconds and got me an introduction and I closed business with oh, him. Oh, nice. I know. And I've, I've secured a, an appointment with him with my new role as well. So, and that it's been, I've been, that was, like I said, B and I works. B and I works. <laughs> it, it sure does. And you know, that's the, you hit on one of the biggest myths in business is that most of us are used to being trained in the rest of the business world that you want to cast a very wide net mm-hmm. and you want to try and be everything to everyone. But I love doing business by abundance. And one of the things, and a mode of abundance, I should say, where you really focus on the aspect of the business that you love doing. When it comes to landing new business, the more specific you are, the more likely you are to get what you want because your fellow sales team, your fellow chapter members want to give you the business you're looking for. They just need to know what it is. Mm-hmm. And so if you are specific, I can't tell you how many times I've coached a member who is struggling on not getting a lot of referrals. I say, okay, well, just tell me someone specific you want to meet. Tell, tell me about one specific door that you'd like opened. And within minutes, somebody else sitting around the table has that exact connection they're looking for. Yeah, I think that the biggest thing too is to trust the process. Mm-hmm. Um, because I know for me, like I said, um, I have a very bad habit of saying, I know how to do it better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, Jamie, we have about one minute left. I know you mentioned last night that you had a story that you wanted to share. Um, like you said, we have a we can float it a little bit, but do you think that you could tell us about that real quick? Absolutely would love to. And this is, um, one of the stories, one of the things I love doing is coaching and seeing other people be really successful. And I was working with a chapter, it's a newly forming chapter, and just after Thanksgiving, so about five weeks ago, I was interviewing a potential member for the group. She was a massage therapist, and uh, she had a full-time job at a massage studio, but her mission, or what she was trying to do, is gain enough new clients on her own that she could go completely independent and um, open up her own massage therapy business and go completely on her own. And just this past Thursday, she walked into her chapter and uh, she was able to say that because the chapter had given her so many referrals and because her schedule is now so full, she was able to make that move and she took the leap She gave the notice uh, that she was leaving her full-time job to follow her true passion, which was to create her own massage therapy, uh, mobile massage therapy business. And there are stories like that every single day. I think Melissa has a story that's real similar to that, too, with Striking Brand. Yeah, I just, I was able to, just with BNI, be able to start my business and take off running um, just from the referrals and how supportive everybody is. Mm -hmm. And it's not just for like existing business owners um, and people who are like in full swing with networking. And you can learn so much from other people who are there and things that they do with their business practices that it just helps you grow 
in general, not just referral Yeah, wise. actually, that's how her and yeah. I met is through BNI. Um, well, we're coming up to a break. Uh, can't thank you enough for calling in today. And I'll talk to you a little bit more because maybe this is something that we can like um, set up on a regular basis. So again, thank you so much for calling yeah. in today and you enjoy the rest Absolutely. of your Sunday. Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> Thanks. All right, everybody, we are going to break, but we will be right back and we're going to get in with our, our buddy Mike over here. He's look like he's ready. <laughs> Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. And we are back. Uh, you can call and text in at any time to 321-339-1055. And this portion of Bad Radio is brought to you by none other than Premier Couple Superstore. Cut out the middleman and go straight to the source. Premier Couple Superstore has everything from sexy bedroom outfits, toys, games, Love oils and everything in between. Premier Couples Superstore because couples that play together stay together. And I talked to them last week about our um, play date. Outing. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. So we're, I'll talk to you about it. But we just make sure that like when we're videoing, we can't get anybody in the video because gotcha. we're going to put that in there. Somebody <laughs> will be like, honey, hey, I know is him. that you? <laughs> <laughs> you were at Premier Couples Superstore today? <laughs> right. <laughs> I call. never even thought about that. <laughs> Holy moly. Well, I mean, he also I mean, might it may be, have been a surprise for her. He might be buying right. her a gift, right. right? I mean, of course that's what he was doing. <laughs> Always. Jeez. <laughs> also want to thank Angela Keene's hair and makeup. All right, I've been dying to say this. Mike, 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 Mike. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Do you guys remember that commercial? It hey, was Mike, Mike, Mike. What yeah, day is it? It was a Geico. That was, that was the camel. Sure yes, the camel with the Mike, Mike. It's Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> I've been told I have to get closer to the Mike, Mike. So wow. All right. So what has been going on with you, my friend? A, a lot, a lot, a lot. So first off, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023, everybody. Nice yeah. to see you, lovely ladies, again. Um, and thank you for the extra elbow rim. So. <laughs> A lot's been going on. So since I talked to you guys last, so you just had your B&I guest on, one of our, mm -hmm. and I say R because I am also part of B&I. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. B&I has fantastic advantages. He hit on a few. Um, and some of those, you get to get really cool stuff, which I did. So uh, that's what holds my coffee this morning. So we'll have that. And then I became president of my chapter. Oh, yeah. So that was a big thing. So uh, hang on for your seats. In 2022, we had two weddings of two of our children. Two of our children gave us new grandbabies. And oh, wow. My wife opened a business that she's waiting two years to open. We'll talk about that later if we can. Uh -huh. And then um, I became president of BNI. And I think that's it. So, yeah, we're kicking So, were you trying to run Liberty of... Property Inspections this whole time while that was going on? Up until my daughter decided to give us a grandson, yes. So, <laughs> I am now the admin and the senior inspector, and by senior, not just age. Um, and then, of course, I still have Nicole. Thank goodness. She's been with me almost six years. Jessica's been around for just oh, over Nicole, three. Nicole, they're your inspectors. Yes, okay. these are my inspectors. Sorry. Sorry, uh -huh. inspectors. Um, and then Oscar, who's our newest one. Oscar's fluent in Spanish. Nicole and Jessica are uh, master qualified. So, yeah. Nice. So we're, we're rocking and rolling, nice. trying to get some really good stuff going this year. So has the housing market uh, hit? adjusted with business at all i mean like i know for a while it would when you needed to get a house inspection you got put on a, basically a waiting list mm -hmm. so are you able to turn those a little bit faster now that the right the, now yeah demand has come down a little bit yeah right now we can we have a little more room for full home inspections um insurance inspections have kicked up a lot of course because, because of the, of the storms, hurricanes right uh -huh. and then other reasons some agencies had pulled out of the florida before the storms so there's a lot of people that needed uh wind mitigation or or roof inspections mm -hmm. or four point inspections for new policies mm -hmm. um and so we have the ability to cover quite a few spots with four people so mm -hmm. um it helps out we can still turn stuff around pretty quick but even when we're booked we're still able to get people in uh, on a within a day or so. Right. Oh, that's nice. And if it's an emergency, we'll roll the dice and see who I'll call everybody and see if anybody wants and has ability to move. So mm -hmm. we'd like to help everyone. Yes. No, I think that's fantastic. Did you guys do any um, help assistance like with uh, the hurricane damage? Because I, I mean, I know that like Ian was so much rain, but was there a lot of wind? Was there a lot of down trees and stuff? 
Not as many as before. Um, a lot of that's because we had uh, a pretty decent storm in the past. And then you know, a lot of people trimming up stuff. Then you yeah. got utilities that start going back underground. The new neighborhoods, all those utilities are underground. Mm-hmm. So um, didn't get as many calls as we did the last hurricane. Right. Uh, but we did get a few uh, just to do some roof checks, things like that. Or if someone had staining on a ceiling that wasn't there before to make sure it's not an active leak like mm-hmm. your house that you had. Uh, and that we found that because I crawled all the way in the attic. And yes, folks, we do crawl in the attic. He did. <laughs> I want to tell the story again. You guys want to hear it? I don't know sure. if you remember it. Do you? Sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I got a new roof. And uh, a couple years later, um, we had a leak. And um, the roofing company came out and said it wasn't them. And um, it was just so frustrating mm-hmm. and such a pain in the butt. So I called Mike. And then from yes. there, and from there, Mike climbed in the attic and way over to a spot, <laughs> and took my cell phone. And I was actually able to capture the leak in progress because it was raining that day, and so it had turned out to be right from a flashing area. So, um, brought that down, gave those images to you, and from that point, well, now you... he wrote me a strongly worded letter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that yes. always seems to work. Strongly worded. <laughs> <laughs> and I sent that. I, I almost think that you sent it to the. Um, well, I mailed and CC'd them for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I kid you not, the next day they were out there fixing it. And oh, nice. it was just like, I I was so happy. <laughs> See, and that brings up kind of a nice little segue. Um, so people think, tend to think that uh, home inspectors have. Um, x-ray vision we are able to predict the future things like that and we're really not we're triage nurse so we're looking for factual stuff that's actually occurring Mm -hmm. while we're there or something that's out of place out of miss while we're there but can people buy levels of inspections there are companies that do that our company we we don't do it that way your home inspections what you get so there's companies as for example the best way to put that out is in pricing so some companies will price based on heated square feet and then they'll add the garage and then they'll add mm. you're getting the house structure inspected the house itself mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. everything under the roof structure within the walls so we price it based on that square footage which mm. is the total gross right that makes more sense. Too. Uh, right. And mm-hmm. so people tend to like that a little better. The insurance inspections are ancillary, so not everyone needs one. So if you buy a house that's 2019, the chances of you needing a wind mitigation or a four-point are super low. Mm-hmm. So you would just need a home inspection more, more than likely. Mm-hmm. Um, conversely, my house is 84. Insurance companies are going to want to see a wind mitigation because they mm-hmm. want to see how the roof's being held down, how all that's attached to the house. Yeah. They're going to want to see a four point because they want to make oh, no, sure the four a, main components we just are did updated. A HELOC, a home equity line of credit, uh-huh. and th- that wind, the proof that I had the wind stuff was super important. Like they wouldn't even move forward mm-hmm. until I could actually show proof that I. What is even a wind mitigation? I mean, so, what do you do? <laughs> wind mitigation. The insurance company's looking for volume up. <laughs> you want me to be louder? <laughs> okay. That was a mistake. <laughs> Somebody marked that down. <laughs> that, that was an actual request. Um, so insurance companies are looking for a few things. They're looking for the geometric shape of the roof of the house. Is mm-hmm. it hip? Is it gable? Is it flat? Um, how are the trusses attached to the walls of the home? What kind of walls? And then... Um, is a wind mitigation just an inspection or is it's, it, are you it's an doing inspection okay. and then you're um, measuring out the spacing of nails because if you have your roof redone they should be re-nailing the decking before they put down mm-hmm. the the shingles or tile or whatever covering you have metal um, so they want to know the the covering material they want to know when it was put on mm-hmm. uh, length of the nails spacing of the nails how the rafters held to the walls wow. they take all of that information and then they put it into a formula to generate a wind mitigation credit with insurance um, is it like a score? You kind got, you of, yeah. You got like an 82% or whatever? Yeah, I don't know how they do all that because I asked um, a bigger insurance company over in Longwood one day how they do that. And he told me there's almost 200 ways that all those end up structured out if you mm-hmm. do the math. And mm-hmm. so it could be anything from not not save you anything to we save about 248 a year on our premium for insurance just for that particular thing. Yeah, no, I saved um, 
I saved money immediately when I got the wind mitigation, and I'm so glad that I did. So what are some of the other services that Liberty Property Inspections does? Before I get into that, just want to say that I am not an insurance professional. Please consult your insurance agent <laughs> for more information. Um, <laughs> so, of course, we offer... Uh, home inspections for when you're going to buy a house. Everybody thinks about that one. Uh, some people don't think about the other side though. If you're going to sell your house, when was the last time you were in your attic? Oh, you don't want, I have last an attic. Week, I have a Christmas decoration. You guys so. didn't see my post where I <laughs> stack stuff up in the attic and it tumbled down and it crashed <gasps> through the ceiling oh and my landed gosh. on Tom's car. Oh, well, that's fun. Wow, no, I but I that. shall search that one. Out. I will search for that too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, am I close enough now? I just hit my teeth on the yes, microphone. Yes, y'all just need to be directly into the microphone because when you turn your head, nobody can hear you. When I turn my head, I'll I literally just right. hit my teeth on the microphone. It I got lipstick on the mic la- yesterday. How about now? Yeah. Um, but yes, so continue on. But yes, I was in the attic and I'm never allowed in the attic again. That's understandable. Oh, darn. Right? I'm actually, I was a little sad. All of our CDs got trashed too. Mm. Anyway, Mike's looking at me like... The CDs were in the attic, therefore you don't need them. Actually, that's a very good point. Like, literally, a really good point. Yes. Plus, you do know how hot attics get in the state of Florida. So your CDs were already ruined. Well, I just put them up there. Anyway, go go (laughs) ahead. Besides the point. So... Um, that's a good example. Um, people have not been in their attics in a while. Most of the time, some people do use it for storage. We did a listing inspection where there was an actual, um, snake just had made his home up in a gentleman's attic over by a soffit area. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And so there was the snake's nest. Then you had a bunch of skin that was up there and then you had snake skin particles of like, correct. Snake skin, not human. (laughs) You never know. (laughs) Some bones, you know, from little vermin that the snake had. So, Stuff like that. And a lot of people have bought their house years ago and haven't moved. Let's say it was built with a Federal Pacific panel for their electrical. That panel's a recalled panel, but they don't know that. Because when they bought the house 30 years ago, it wasn't listed that way, right? right. If they have a recalled panel, can uh, they get it replaced for free? That I have no clue on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not I sure. I think ours is. <laughs> not sure. I don't think so. I think that recall portion is probably, if it's a Zinsco or a Federal Pacific or a Sylvania when Sylvania owns Zinsco, that's been a long time. Catch all that? Yeah. No, but it's okay. We'll be giving you a call. Yeah. If, if you need to know more about that, please call. What's the number? 407-739-5795. <laughs> okay. Got and it. I shall answer your call <laughs> because I am the admin, because I am a new grandfather to a new grandson born December 14th. <laughs> no. Oh, where did we, where were we? I lost my train of Okay, so back to CDs listing and inspections and, yes. and CDs. Um, but so things like that or why you'd want to get a listing inspection, right? And some realtors don't always think about that. Sellers don't always think about that. But it is a good way to take care of some of the smaller stuff. GFIs that typically go bad. Sometimes if you've never had one that you've tested for like you're supposed to, we come in and we're testing everything, trip to GFI, it won't reset. You know, so it's better to learn that on the buying side or as a seller before you put it in the market. But that'd be a decision you'd have to make. Yeah, so we refied um, this past year too, but I wasn't allowed, I mean, I didn't, am I allowed to pick? Like the the company that I was um, doing the refi with is the one who picked the um, inspections. What kind of an inspection? I mean, it was, I guess it was just a regular house inspection. Because How long were they there? I don't know, a couple hours. Interesting. Why? I've never heard of that before. What, where the um, the mortgage company yeah. sent that out? Well, I Unless through. they sent in somebody just for small stuff, like four points and win mitigations, but I've never seen one where, at least we haven't gotten a call for, mm-hmm. for that. Well, I mean, I used a broker, and I thought that I had to use their person, but I'm guessing not. Um, each lending company has their own rules so you have to follow their rule oh. but if you're buying the house you get to pick the the inspection hmm. and in florida there's no mandate for a home inspection so what you don't have to give no it mandate it means you, you don't, don't have, have to. to get one before you buy the house are you serious yeah no, but you should but I mean, yeah, you are, really yeah. should but you don't have to it's not mm-hmm. smart well then how do they get the um estimate value if you don't have an inspection that's appraisal appraisal yes uh, two separate things. <laughs> yes. And we're not even going to start on VA appraisals. That's a whole nother show, like six hours. Oh. We have like a minute left before we go to break again. But um, 
okay, so you're talking about the services. So yeah. wind mitigation, insurance inspection, uh, four points of insurance inspection, the regular home inspection, a listing inspection, which is like a home inspection. Also, two of us, my wife extraordinaire and myself, are licensed mold assessors with our company. That's what I wanted you to say. So we'll hit that <laughs> um, after the break. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go to break. And when we get back, we're going to continue our conversation with Mike Heyman. Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. Back again, and if you want to talk or text, give us a holler at 321-339-1055. And this portion of Bad Radio is brought to you by Artistic Beauty and 33 Tanning Spa with locations in Altamont Springs and Longwood. Um, I'm laughing at Mike because he laughed at one of the uh, PSA's dad jokes. <laughs> That is right. So dads feel comfortable. Dad Send jokes dad rule. Jokes. Actually, out of all the PSAs that they play, that's one of my. That's fa- my favorite. Yeah, that's yeah. one of oh, my yeah. the one. The one about the forest. I'm a slug rat. I'm like, that's so gross. <laughs> There's like a slug in his house telling him to go to the forest. <laughs> I, Sounds like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a trap. That is a trap. But yes, as a father of five children who are all grown now and made it to adulthood and still talk to me, dad jokes rock. Mm-hmm. I agree. I think so, too. Um, OK, so for before the, before the break, you said that we're going to pick something up. But then I also want to talk about Phoenix Haven, your wife's business. So do you uh, want to yes. wrap up the Liberty Property section? Yes, we shall. So um, the other thing is, and you just mentioned my wife. My wife has a Hi, Tina. bachelor's, and she should be listening. Hi, honey. Hi, Pax. Um, <laughs> Pax is the eight-year-old grandson. Hi. I know. <laughs> um, so she is a degree in, um, in engineering um, environmental science. Yes. And so her and I are both licensed mold assessors with our company. So what we can do is go out if someone had a water loss um, or if they start seeing things growing on the wall, we can go out, we can test it and send it to a lab. We use a local lab here and then the report is generated. We take that and we can put it into a protocol. And what a protocol is, it directs a remediation company or someone who's doing the remediation what needs to take place. And then we can go back and do post verification, mm-hmm. make sure all that was done correctly. So we did get a few of those calls after those storms yeah. and those really helped. We both like doing those. Mm-hmm. Um, we live in Florida, so, you know, that's a big need for that, especially to help people live healthier. Well, yeah. Also, if somebody's like been denied by FEMA because their house is livable, if mm-hmm. they've all of a sudden got mold, then it's a dangerous thing and they can file an appeal with FEMA to still probably get some aid. So. Correct. That there, there are a few instances um, in South Florida, especially where uh, the main impact came across for, um, I forget which hurricane it was, uh, where contractors from out of state were coming in and they were actually drying visible mold on the drywall and then painting it and then collecting a large amount of cash only. Mm-hmm. From, yeah, don't even get me started client, on all so. the crooks. And yeah, insurance. use someone who has a license, make sure they're state yeah. licensed still. We're state licensed, uh, we're insured with everything. Uh, Realtors, we also carry an extra rider for the realtor. Because if you're a realtor and you've given someone an inspection company's name, and if anything ever happened, you want to be comfortable that you're protected too. Right. right? Because it's it's a business relationship. Again, it goes back to B&I. Business, you do business with people that you know are going to do business the correct way. Like, ethically. like no trusts. Yes. Yes. Like no trust and are ethical. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll give everybody the contact information for Liberty Property Inspections and then launch into Sure. Haven. So you can find us at libertypropertyinspections.net on the internet. Mm-hmm. Where our email is libertypropertyinspectionsfl at gmail. And the phone number is 407-739-5795. Again, if you do call and get a voicemail, please leave that. The phone is also textable, and you will hear my wonderful voice as the admin assistant at that particular moment that I answer the phone. (laughs) I love Mike. (laughs) Thank you. All right. So let's talk about Phoenix Haven. Give everybody a rundown on it. Okay. Change hats. So (laughs) Phoenix Haven is uh, something that was passionate for my wife. Uh, For the last few years, she really wanted to get a uh, metaphysical market 
That's it's a, a it's a brick and mortar. It's a brick and mortar store. So she wanted a metaphysical store that was up in Seminole County, up um, towards a Popka Altamont area. But there's a lot of people traveling down to a, a few of the other stores that are in uh, Central Orlando locations, right? So. COVID put that on hold for about two years. Yeah. So recently we were fortunate enough and blessed enough to be able to open Phoenix Haven uh, up in San Sebastian one, I think it is called at 436 and 434, mm-hmm. um, right next to a uh, Austra- or New Zealand pub that's up there. Mm-hmm. Um, that little intersection is busy too. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we have a signage little, on the building. It's little, but it's not little. 434 and 436. No, Oof. it's a big intersection. Yeah. A lot of people. And that's one reason we were hoping to get over there. And the stars just aligned right. So we're in a really good spot. She's got a decent sized store. And uh, all of our our signage is up on the building and up on the front. We just now need someone who can come in and do a really good job for us or consult with us about the signage on the front window in mm-hmm. case any of your bad members are listening or B&I. People. I know they all are. I know you are. Um, <laughs> so we got that going. Now it was in August and it's been interesting because not only did we didn't know what the timeline was going to be. And uh, I think I've talked to you since. I uh, got to play in the Softball World Series for Naga, and we had to go to Dallas. So we actually did our soft opening the day, two days before we went I went to the soft to opening. Oh, yes, you were at the soft mm-hmm. opening. That's correct. Um, so that was open. Then we cleaned up, and then we went to Dallas for a week and played in the World Series softball. And my C team, we won the World Series. Thank you, guys. Love you all. <laughs> and then uh, my 50 and over team, we came in eight. So that was really good. And we were a bunch of just kind of put together people. So then we came back and we had a week to get everything in order. And then we grand opened uh, mid-September. Okay. So since then. And then the hurricanes came. The hurricanes came. <laughs> and, you know, people don't know who you are or where you are. So the big challenge first is to get that presence known. Mm-hmm. And then after the hurricanes uh, started picking up a little bit at a time, people trickling in and then we got an invitation to go to some pop-up events. One, we do Tuesday night downtown and then we pop-up do pop-up events. You go there and set up like a little, little market, yeah. Yeah, little table. And mm-hmm. she brings some of her store. Um, and it does two things. It gives exposure. Absolutely. Um, it also gives people a sample of some of the stuff she has, but also teases them enough to come in and see what mm-hmm. else she has. Cause she and they has also get to meet her as well. She's Correct. Cause she mans every bit of that. Yeah. Um, she's very knowledgeable about all that stuff. So tell everybody what types of things that they can find. So, uh, metaphysical store that she runs has everything from, if you like Buddha and Zen all the way to um, any kind of self-care, astrology, crystals, crystal mediums. Um, we do have a tarot card reader who is there Tuesday and Friday or Tuesday, Friday and Saturday. I think she just added a new day. Uh, but she That's also Angelique joins Luna. us. Yes. We know you her. You know her. Yeah, yeah. That's she's been right. on the show before. That's right. Hi, Angelique. Hi, Angelique. Because I think she <laughs> catches all your shows. Um, so she's in and she goes with us to the pop up. And after working all day, I will go to the pop up event, too, because I do not want her bearing all that burden of carrying stuff by herself. So I go down Aww. there, but I can also work while she's working. So it mm-hmm. works out really well. We've always worked together. Um, she also has uh, dream catchers that our daughter uh, makes Danielle. Oh, I um, didn't know that they were like homemade. Yes, they are custom made and homemade. She will custom make them for you. Mm-hmm. Um, what else do we have? Incense, of course, candles, um, apothecary stuff. Uh, she's more versed than I am to. Well, the crystals, all right? The good crystals. Stuff, but she's got are, a lot like, of crystals. A I lot think of I, I've learned a lot about crystals and energies and all yes. this other stuff, and I had no idea. I just like to like hold them. <laughs> Yeah, it's in different crystals, you know, you get different vibrations from, and she can tell you what, what they're about, what they do for you. Uh, I'm mostly the heavy lifter guy. Mm-hmm, yeah. I'm still learning stuff. Carry them back and forth. Um, my daughter, Anna, likes crystals. I used to have, a, as a child, my mom gave me what I call, she called it a worry stone. Mm-hmm. And it's yep. just something I would keep in my pocket that I would rub all the time. Now we call them fidgets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? And I loved that thing. And so I have, I guess I just have a tendency to pick up crystals and stuff like that just for the texture mm-hmm. of them yeah she has worry stones and then she has stones that some people like the shape of a heart or mm-hmm. um the shape of a moon or star things like that um once we're off the air i'll tell you what our most popular shape is that we only have two of Uh-oh. but 
Why does it have to be off the air? <laughs> oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> We're using our imagination. <laughs> Took me a minute. <laughs> I can't wait. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm such an airhead. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so you have to come in, just check it out. She's in the, uh, like I said, the um, Sebastian Plaza, Sebastian One. It's um, actually 801 West. Sa- uh, State Road four thirty six suite yes. one one or one zero zero five. Yep, yeah. uh, you know, suite one zero zero five facing the road. So if you look out her window, you can look across four thirty six and see the side of Michaels and mm-hmm. Home Depot across the street. If that's good for a mm-hmm. reference for people. So what's next for her? I mean, it's like you said, we're just trying to get volume in there, right? Yep, uh, that and now she's been uh, Friday night. She was invited to three other. Uh, markets that are you have to be invited to go to that are fairly sizable so Mm -hmm. and then since then we've also uh, started hitting the gym shows and and so she sources everything from uh, either people who've brought them in country Mm -hmm. from other countries direct import um, and then we haven't gone to any of the mines yet Mm -hmm. you know what I'd be interested in talking to her about is a Turkish lamp Yes, yeah, so we're trying to find somewhere good to source those mm-hmm. from. Because I got one for Anna oh, for Christmas, and oh, it I came. Saw that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes. But I had to wire it myself, and I'm not an electrician. No, that's it was supposed you know, it was supposed to come with like two connectors, right. but I literally was splicing. I was very oh proud my of myself God. though because I did do it. <laughs> <laughs> it only sparked and like blew out once. <laughs> it only sparked twice. <laughs> good. Um, They're beautiful, but if I think that if you held no. them, because I had a lot of people mm-hmm. comment in my post mm-hmm. saying, "Where did you get that? I want one." And if you guys had them or had like a direct way to people to buy them through you, I know that I could send a lot of business. They're kind mm-hmm. of expensive though. It was like 150 yeah, the, bucks. And that's, that's the thing is we got to find somewhere to, to source them economically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, she does have a lot of evil eye stuff um, from bracelets to keychains mm-hmm. to things to hang on the door to sun catchers. Mm-hmm. So Heather, I'm sorry. You said we have like 30, how much time do we have left? 30 seconds. All right. Ooh, I know. And time flies when you okay. have fun. So, so Give Real everybody quick, your contact. Um, Phoenix Haven, she just told you that. I'm uh, Mike Mike with or- Orlando <laughs> Liberty. So I'm saying Orlando Liberty because I really want to plug. This weekend we have softball. It says Orlando Liberty right here. I um, play on a Liberty team. It's a uh, wonderful thing. So 407-739-5795, 407-739-5795. Liberty Property Inspections, helping you protect your investment. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Florida Man Radio. Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. And welcome back, and we are here to launch into our second hour of Bad Radio. I'm going to go... And I'm going to run through all the regular info for those who may have just joined us. I am Angela, the host, and we've got DJ Heather, the producer, in the house. Yep, yep, I'm here. Our co-pilot and videographer is Melissa Jacob. Hello, hello. And her business is called Striking Brand, and you you can watch all of last year's episodes on badradio.com, and you can check out all of her work at strikingbrand.com. And okay, so new to bad, please welcome Lance Price, Director of Operations for the Love of Veteran. Hello. Uh oh. Oh, hi. How is everybody doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like looking at all these buttons. I'm like, uh, do I need to push Oh, no, no, you don't have to touch anything. <laughs> actually, can you raise that mic up a little bit so I can actually see? You? So there you go. That work? Yes. Right. Um, so, for Love of Veteran, which is a 501c3, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Mm-hmm. I appreciate being here. Yeah. I'm excited to have you because I have so many veterans in my family. Absolutely. And I'm here to try to answer as many questions awesome. as possible in the short period that we have. And this portion of Bad Radio is brought to you by Ground Up Property Services. So I'm actually going to read this live as if I were Ground Up Property Service ser- Services. Does, um, does your yard have really good green spots and then other that are barren or brown? It could mean that you don't have enough water getting to those certain areas. With our irrigation membership program, we'll check your co- complete system two times a year to make sure that it's all working as expected. Clean your heads, make adjustments, and it's all under that program. If we find something that needs to be fixed, guess what? It gets fixed. Give us a ring at 407-468-4295, and that is Ground Up Property Services. Also, I want to thank a new sponsor, which is Crazy Muscle Nutrition in Longwood, and as well as 
Kazoo Creative that manages our website. All right. So, um, all right. So I'm still a, in debate about what I want to do with this portion of the show. And mm-hmm. so I wanted to get you guys' feedback on this. Um, I was thinking about, you know how like different um, groups, they have like winter, sp- or they have uh, things called rants, raves, and reviews mm-hmm. on different like um Facebook groups for different communities. Absolutely. I was actually thinking about kind of creating something like that for mm-hmm. this portion where people can um, send send us information or call in and talk about it. Mm-hmm. Because I wanted to get you guys' opinion about something that happened to me yesterday. And um, so this is a scenario, right? And don't laugh because it is third world problems, I know. But I've been going to the same nail salon for a long time now. And I love them. I've gotten to know the family. I think that they're fantastic. Um, but the time before last when I went, I had a really bad experience with this one male tech. Um, he was rude and he was short. And I ended up just like stopping with him and going over Ooh. to the owner, right? And so I made appointments <laughs> for Anna and I. Um, and because like I said, it's kind of like a mother daughter mm-hmm. thing. So it's not just getting my, our nails done, but it's something that we do. Like a bonding yeah. thing. Yeah. And so the only appointments they had was like at 630 last night. And I but I said I specifically didn't want this person. Right. Jeez, he so, must have been really bad. I've never. Had yeah. Like that. Um, but again, I love the family. Yeah. I've never in years. I've never had this problem before. Right. So we get there and the two ladies that we booked, something had come up and to where we you know, we um, had to use them again. Mm-hmm. But um, I was with one lady mm-hmm. and Anna was with the other. And I kid you not, you guys, it was the worst. Ex- he was rude to her. He was mm-hmm. condescending to her. Uh, at one point, I actually had to get up and take him to the front <gasps> and explain to him that he's being terrible. But the problem is, is that it was there was nobody else there to go to. There, mm-hmm. And anyway, um, it was awful and she was upset and it just, <laughs> I don't know what to do because the owners are on vacation and I do care for them and I've, they've always done such a great, great job. And they actually, I get a kind of like nail stuff that I don't, not a lot mm-hmm. of places carry. So they do have something that I really right. like. So do I file like, I, I don't know. What would you guys do? Why don't you find some place like in the meantime and then when they come back kind of address it because you're close to them it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. And then just talk to them when they get back. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I i don't think that they would want anybody you tell to their feel... name on the radio and ne- no, let them don't know. do that. They'll never <laughs> upset you again. Don't do that. I'm just <laughs> but you understand it is like yeah. this is a place that I like. Right. I've always liked and they yeah. have a service that is something that I seek out that I want. Um, and I've never had a problem in the past, but well, the there's this probably don't know. I yeah, mean, they might what, not that, know. That's interesting. I mean, you, you say you've been there once and you have that experience and then you go there again. You don't have that experience. Maybe that person's having a bad day, but this has been multiple times now mm-hmm. and you've had the same experience with the same person. Mm-hmm. It needs to be brought up to the And ownership. you probably aren't the only person. You, you know think what I mean? So? Well, I, I can't be. imagine. I can't imagine. Yeah. He was like, I mean, it was awful. He was rude to her picking out the color and I was watching him file her nails like super aggressively and that's what stopped me. Mm-hmm. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You mm-hmm. know, we need to have conversation. Mm-hmm. And But even when I was talking to him about being rude, he was arguing back with me. Oof. It was really, really that bad. Well, I think you just definitely need to talk to the owners because, um, you know, you can't be the only one. Um, and I think maybe the number of times they're hearing the same thing, even mm-hmm. if they don't see it Mm -hmm. if they keep hearing it then they're going to be in a position where they want to do something right yeah that's a mess or so i I, because i'm like debating i'm like do i just let it like rest and not say anything and find another place or do i give them the opportunity or do i do like do i do the full i come here all the time and i spend a lot of money here i'm like i don't know well you know the owners so i would just (laughs) yeah i would talk to them man that's rough I mean, now I'm so curious about what could he, he was just, he was doing it harshly. Like he said that he was being condescending and stuff. Yeah. Well, he, um, you know, he put the nails on and then he filed them and she goes, I would like them shorter. Uh-huh. Oh, well, first she, he was like, I don't want you to watch me do each one of your nails. He goes, I won't, I'm not going to have you like watch each one. He goes, let me do the whole hand and then you can look. Right. And so he did them. She's like, I need them shorter. Mm-hmm. And so, again, she, he's, she's not allowed to look. So he filed them a little bit, but he didn't cut them. They were still too mm-hmm. long. So she said, no, shorter. And so he's like, oh. 
Oh my and God. then he, so he does it again <laughs> and she's like, oh my, and so she came over and she right. was like, mom, he's getting mad because I want him short. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and then he was frustrated with her right. because he wasn't, he felt like she was, I don't know what he should have said is how long do you want them? Show me mm-hmm. and done it, mm-hmm. but he didn't. And, um, and so I actually pulled another nail tech and I said, go make her nail shorter. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. want him that long. And he's not listening. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like, he got mad because she went yeah. over there and cut him. And so then she's oh, like, yeah. <laughs> like oh, filing yeah. away super aggressively. Um, but yeah, it was an awful experience. And I don't, I like helping them because I give them referrals and mm-hmm. stuff. So I'm just, I'm. I know that, like I said, sounds completely third world, but this I is guess, yeah. about businesses and yeah. that's their business. If you know the owners and you're close to them and they've treated you well, I think that that's, I would still want to support them, but mm-hmm. just let them know. Because that's the only thing I can think of is I'm sure they wouldn't want you to feel that way. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, part of like my my one side's like, you need to tell them you're never coming back until they fire that guy. And I'm like, oh. no, don't yeah. do that. I don't know. What about you guys? I mean, have you ever been in a, in a situation like that? Not like that. <laughs> That's rough. I mean, I think I, I think everyone's had like a hair place that they prefer or whatever, but they or just any up place with that, yeah. with that person that uh-huh. they just didn't care for, they didn't click with. So, I mean, did you continue but, to use? The uh, place no, or you just... I, I kind of did the same thing. I just avoided that that mm-hmm. per- specific person and everything. But I mean, I think it's just one of one of those things that as we've already stated if the owner's not aware that the rudeness is going on and all that's taking place then there's not much i can do about it yeah and then i'm just like i said i was just blown away but it got me thinking about the show and i mean if people are going to listen i think that they need to understand i i I don't want to be the let me speak to the manager person Mm -hmm. but there's a certain point when you gotta like say something right Mm -hmm. not just get bad service yeah definitely and I'm not going to go on. I think the tip shows at uh, that point. Well, that's another thing, too, is by the time he was done, he was the last person there. And he comboed my nails with Anna's nails. And so what I left was going to be split between him and the lady who did my nails. And I didn't want I I didn't mm-hmm. want her. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like her. Because I was going to give him like 10 bucks, but mm-hmm. I knew he would have split it to where she only got five. Mm-hmm. Well, then you carry cash and just give her the 10 bucks. That is a very good idea. In fact, if you carry cash, then they don't necessarily have to claim it Uh huh. because they're going to claim. If you leave it on the uh, credit card slip, then right. they have to claim all of that, even if it's more than the 10 percent, even if it's more than the minimum wage that they're required to claim. So uh-huh. they'll have to claim the whole thing. So it's like a restaurant. More, I remember that from right. like working in a restaurant. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I was just really thinking about like how employees can make or break your business. Mm -hmm. So I guess for you, it's kind of nice because you are your employee, right? Yes. (laughs) I have, I have one other person I work with Mm -hmm. and we work really well together. So, uh, I'm lucky, but, um, yeah, I hear so many stories about people who bringing on other employees. It's the hardest thing It's hiring. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason you need everybody to be on the same page and, be comfortable with them being your face mm-hmm. when you're not there. <laughs> so. that, oh yeah, that yeah. is hard. Um, we'll talk about your business, but you'd say is Absolutely. that the same for you with your it's clothing apparel or it's lo- uh, clothing? Oh right? yeah, I mean we're we're young, so um, I wouldn't say as much. We have a small team. Uh, my best friend Brian Wise uh, took on this adventure uh, primarily with me. Um, a great group of friends is why it came about. Uh, we are SFH is one of our as my business and then the nonprofit of course for the love of a veteran but um, we are SFH came about uh, the name is based off of a very close friend of mine Tyler Southern which is a triple amputee and that's his thing he's like look yeah I may not have all my God-given limbs but I'm still here and I'm going to still keep pushing and I'm going to keep helping those that need the help to keep pushing forward and that's what we're all about that's really cool I definitely Mm -hmm. want to dive into that a little bit um but yeah overall like business in general I know Emily talk I talked to Emily this past week and she her assistant um quit with no notice Mm. and this is somebody that she spent countless hours Mm -hmm. with training her Mm -hmm. and um it was a blow it's a blow to the business and I don't think that's lots of I mean the girl gets paid training (laughs) right and then she decides not to be there um and so it's just 
it's crazy to me how much that affects people's overall business. But like you were saying, mm -hmm. it's so hard to trust somebody else to be the face of your business, especially if you've built it from the ground up. Right. So right. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, I mean, like I said, I would as we move forward with like this feature, I want to have. Um, I don't know what that was either, Heather. <laughs> um, I want to be able to have people be able to call in and tell some stories and not all bad stories. Like I mm -hmm. wanted, I mean, I'm totally about rave. Like I, I, like I can rave about so many businesses in the Winter Springs area. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you have a, a business that you go oh, to? Gosh. Like, uh, like, like, I, like but on the a raves, regular basis. The raves are, are constant. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, yes. and there are times that I truly feel like the rants need to be said because if it's not put out there, then others don't know that it's going on and right. they need to know that that that's going on that doesn't mean that that it would deter them than using that business it just gives them a heads up well some people aren't comfortable with this business or some people really love this business mm -hmm. so rants and raves mm -hmm. both i think are beneficial to a point mm -hmm. so. um but i know that google reviews are really oh, important yeah. too how does i mean how do i mean how much time do we have heather Oh, okay. Because um, I really want to jump into, maybe we'll talk about net Google reviews. Yeah, I mean, usually what I do is when I finish a project with someone, I will reach back out to them and just say, hey, if you want to leave a review, that'd be awesome, and send them my link. Um, because that's I've gotten so many, you get so much business just from that. Because people want to see what other people say about you. They don't want to hear so much what you say about you. Right. <laughs> they want to hear what other people think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because I really, I mean, I don't really have a lot of experience with the importance of Google reviews. So let's table yeah. that for next one. All right, we're going to run uh, to break. And when we get back, we're going to jump in more with Lance. Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. And we're back. And if you're interested in getting involved with the show, you can call or text in at 321-339-1055. Um, this portion of Bad Radio is brought to you by Impact Electric of Orlando, who focuses on residential and commercial electrical work. When talking about quality of work, Impact Electric is one of the best. We use Impact Electric for all of our electrical needs, and I recommend them to all my fan, friends, family, you name it. You should have got them to do your Turkish lamp. <laughs> I, th I thought about it, but um, honestly, I was like, if I call Zach and be like, he'll be like, really? I have this lamp. <laughs> <laughs> really, Angela? Uh, he would do it for you. <laughs> He's know. nice. Uh, but you can reach Zach and his team at 407-747-0874. I also want to thank Andrews Law PA. I'm excited to get Jenny Andrews in here again. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. fun. Yeah, she's such a badass. All right. So here we go with um, with Lance Price. So tell us a little bit about your role and your your charity. Absolutely. Well, first, kind of have to start with my background so that it all comes together. I uh, was in the military for a little over 18 years. Thank you for your uh, service. Mm -hmm. During that time, I did seven combat deployments, and thank you for that. Um, and through my deployments and multiple events, I suffered PTS and TBI, which ended up getting me medically retired at about 18 and a half. Uh, when I got out, much like most military members that's been in for as long as I had, they're like, okay, what do you do now? Because right. it's like starting the life over. Uh, the whole time I was in the military, my, my job was to take care of my Marines and sailors mm -hmm. and to give back and make sure that they had what they needed to, to take care of the fight at the front line. So I knew I wanted to do something along that line. Mm -hmm. Um, but I didn't know how with my PTS and my TBI, uh, memory issues is, is a big thing and everything. But I, I think I'm starting to figure it out now. Oh, I think you're uh, very motivated. <laughs> so, but, uh, Thanks to a great group of friends, Brian Wise, uh, Tyler Southern, Joe Bachman, my wife, Amber, which is my my stone that keeps me in place a lot of times. I met Amber, didn't I? You did. I did. You did. <laughs> um, and, and with that being said, when I got out, I was like, okay, what do I do now? All I knew is to help veterans. So I'm going to help veterans. Uh, I got involved with a couple of nonprofits uh, and... I grew 
out of certain nonprofits and mm-hmm. then it came about to another nonprofit through Joe Bachman, musician, friend of mine, um, and Mike Waltz and Christine Waltz started an organization called For the Love of a Veteran out of Hanover, PA. Um, they had been established for, for a while and everything, but a couple of years back, they asked if they were interested in helping with the funding for a treatment called SGB. It's called the Stellate Ganglion Block. This procedure takes 11 minutes for a veteran. Mm -hmm. This procedure is low, low side effects because all they're using is a lidocaine injection. What is the symptoms that they're trying to... This is the thought behind the process is they inject lidocaine into the nerve in the neck that is responsible for the fight or flight mechanism. Mm -hmm. Uh Much like a computer, what it does is that lidocaine puts that nerve to sleep. When the nerve awakens back up, it's at a less hyper state, Mm -hmm. so therefore it's easier to control. With me, I had great success with it, but it's not a Mm one-all thing. It's not, hey, you get this done, you stop your medications. Now, I've cut my medications in half since the treatment. Do you have to do it multiple times? It it depends on the person. Mm -hmm. I personally have not had to, but... There's some, there's different with all of us right. veterans. I have a great support group. A great support group can intensify the effects of this treatment because once you get in that positive state, you need a great support group to keep you in that positive state. Um, not everyone has that. So right. multi- some veterans have to do it multiple times. It'll, mm-hmm. It can last three months or six months. But it's an 11 minute procedure. But the biggest thing is, is the cost. That that that's that's is it what crazy in the expensive? VA in the VA uh, it doesn't cover it. So it's all about cost. So our organization takes donations from the community. Um, I have the Florida chapter personally, so I take donations from Florida, um, out of Hanover, PA. They take um, donations for nationally, and we will send veterans if they need if they are qualified and needed this treatment. We will find a place and we will pay for what is needed to get them there. Whether it's just the treatment, whether it's transportation mm-hmm. and lodging for a night to get the treatment. We will take care of it because my goal is to see other veterans have the success that I had with this treatment. Are you allowed to say how much it costs? Uh, $2,100 a, pa- a patient. $2,100 a shot, yeah. And so you were on average yeah. and uh, California, those areas oh, yeah. are a I bit mean, higher. Yeah. Where mm-hmm. do you have to go to get it done? <laughs> uh, we have providers here in Orlando. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that they worked with the Stella Clinics initially okay. which were the ones who first um, started providing this treatment um, but now we've had and that's another thing doctors are, are reaching out to us that want to be a part of this and want to give well, back maybe to the they veterans. can donate some other exactly time too. And, there, and there are some doctors uh-huh. that are doing that and and here in florida and other states and everything and that's amazing, that is amazing. but just getting that n- tight knit community that we need to help these veterans not just with with this shot but with all the opportunities that are out there that i feel like a lot of veterans don't know anything about if i wasn't in the mm-hmm. nonprofit realm i wouldn't know anything about all the operations right. that are out there so one of my key things for the love of a veteran is starting this year every third thursday of the month january 19th will be our first one uh, we will be meeting in Apopka. Apopka is where I'm home based out of at um, Three Eye Guys Brewing. And we will, and I, we plan to sit down just with veterans and veteran supporters. Is there an itinerary? No. I want to sit down with my fellow veterans and my fellow veteran supporters and see how we can help each other mm-hmm. and help the community at the same time. That is my goal, and that's what I hope to happen. Okay, so uh, that I was that was one thing I wanted to talk about is how they find you. So right now, in order to get the word out, I've been for these meetings. What are, are, are I mean, are you just using social so media? We, I mean, now we're talking about it, so I absolutely. definitely want to be able to post about that mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, Florida mm-hmm. chapter for the love of a veteran is um, our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the love of a veteran dot org is our uh, website, which is but the national but, website. Okay. If you pull, if you go on to locations, pull down to Florida, the actual Florida chapter will come up. So it's a whole one chapter for Florida, or there's multiple chapters. There's there. one chapter for Florida, okay. and that's me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. So first state chapter is the Florida state chapter. So and 
I we have been around now for one year. Okay, congratulations so for year. that. Yeah. Um, I'm curious, like I said, I would love to hear like a story if I admit if you have one, like a bet as far as like somebody. Uh, I mean, I know you have absolutely. you. Uh -huh. Well, let's tell my story because okay. my story is pretty, pretty interesting and uh, it will give you a great idea how Christine and Mike Waltz work. Uh, I was scheduled to do the treatment on a Sunday or on a Monday morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we were on our way to the facility to get it done here in Orlando, and they called and canceled halfway there. They did. Um, to explain the heart that Christine and Mike have for this organization and for this treatment it, it is were you crazy. devastated when you got with that? The, well, no, within seconds, she's on the phone. Uh -huh. She's calling every provider that she knows, and she has me a scheduled appointment the next day, and PA flies me there, puts oh, me in wow. a hotel overnight on Monday, mm -hmm. puts me in a hotel overnight, gets my treatment Tuesday, flies me back home. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, just I love because them. they canceled that. <laughs> that's, that's so, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. when we say we're trying to get as many veterans in and take care of as many veterans as possible, we are, but we can't do it without the help of our community by donating and providing help for that. How long has it been since you got the, the um, treatment? I just hit my one year mark two weeks ago. Okay. And did you, does it give you a, like immediate uh, results or is it something? I, like I slept for about, um, okay, so. In order to tell you how long I slept, you have to understand how long I slept before. Yeah. <laughs> My average sleeping pattern was two to four hours a night. Oh. You um, just woke up panicked? What's that? You'd wake up like in panic? Uh, well, with me, I tried to avoid my night terrors because because of how realistic they were mm -hmm. so that put me into a place where i just didn't sleep mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. um it's like freddy krueger stuff right there after i had this treatment i came home and i slept for 18 hours straight you wow. probably needed it so bad <laughs> like in I, I, I woke up and i felt alive again and i'm like uh yeah. oh this is what it feels like to be You're rested like, because i didn't know what it was mm -hmm. i hadn't i got diagnosed with ptsd ptsd in 2007 mm -hmm. so that's me a long having time. two to four hours of sleep that just became a norm for me. Yeah. Um, but I didn't realize the havoc that I was putting on my body, not mm -hmm. having the correct mm -hmm. amount of sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, my anxiety level has dissipated um, tremendously. I can go places without my service dog mm -hmm. um, on certain occasions, um, and it, it's just it's been more of a blessing not just to me but to my family because for the longest time my ptsd controlled me my ptsd isn't gone but i have control of it now mm -hmm. and i think that's what most people want is to have control of their own <laughs> physical mm -hmm. being oh absolutely so. <laughs> but be, being able to be like off of some of your medications it i mean because no matter what medications have side effects whether oh, it's, oh yeah it's i was on over 13 medications at one point because the and no bashing the VA because they do take care of our veterans to a sense. But right. there are a lot of times that if things aren't getting better, let's throw another medication oh, or yeah. let's increase the <laughs> dose or let's throw another. And, and, and as a veteran, that gets very humbling and makes you feel very you can't be yourself it's like okay i have to mm -hmm. have these meds to, to right. operate mm -hmm. i was like to me it so sounds like a big like brew of stuff of all of these chemicals that <laughs> right. like i said i can't imagine yeah that uh, well you're expected to be so strong when you're out there and then you come back and you're having to rely on something mm -hmm. you know and, and that's another thing everybody everybody talks about veterans oh yes the strength they had and while they were in and all that kind of stuff yeah that's great but these veterans also had that strength to go to war and see combat and see things that most humans will never see or, or I'd never want them to see in their mm -hmm. life. And it takes a toll. Yeah, it does. And, and and people need to be here, not just for our military members, for our veterans to realize that, hey, yeah, we see things differently because we lived a different life than, mm -hmm. than most people here in our community did. But we're still the same person and we just want to do good by all and we want to to make our mark even outside of um the military 
yes, military is a part of my past, but I don't want that to be all I am. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not. Yeah. And a lot of veterans at times, it feels like I'm not just a veteran. I'm a father. I'm a husband. Right. You know, I'm many other things. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, yeah. Um, So how do people find you? I mean, how can we direct people to you? What can we do? So if you'd like, uh, you can email me at Lance at for the love of a veteran dot org I to make sure i get that <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> i don't remember what get that right um you can also message us on our facebook page mm-hmm. um if you are interested in treatment there is a treatment tab on our website that okay. you can go to and it gives more information uh and of i mean do you do course. any sort of outdoor events oh thank you <laughs> yes we do um so january 19th as i stated we'll start our our um monthly and then every month we plan on having an outdoor event um february we actually have a mental health night and have tickets on sale that a portion will go back to us for the orlando magics game and the nuggets game Mm -hmm. um it's on a thursday that's january 9th um February or excuse me, February 9th, um, February 25th, we are putting together a event in Tavares, which is going to be a cornhole tournament. And uh, did you call Tavares Tavares? And many other things. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we have we have great tournament. plans. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah, cornhole tournaments are huge. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Um, all right. Well, and again, we're going to post all of this stuff so people can get in touch with you. But mm-hmm. we're not going away. We're going to break. But mm-hmm. when we get back, we've got some more time to talk. So it's kind of nice. But it's crazy. This is like back we're going with Lance. into yeah. Yeah, back with Lance. But, but we're going into our last section yeah. of the second hour. It feels like nothing. Yep. It's flying. Uh huh. Like all right. Stay tuned. Thank you, guys. Florida Man Radio. Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. And we're back for our last segment. I can't believe it. Two hours. I love it, though. I'm super, super excited about the two hours. This does feel a lot better. Uh I I don't feel as rushed (laughs) and... Me it's wonderful. But the the number here is uh, 321-339-1055. And a huge thank you to our sponsors, Bolts Legal, who's going to be ah. in, in on the show. Oh, She's in for January, uh, Brooke Bolts, and Rachel Roach Realtor, a Coldwell Banker Realtor. All right. So before we were, before we went to break, we were talking with Lance um, in regards to his charity for a love of a veteran. But now we're going to talk about his clothing business. <laughs> um, I can't say exactly what it's called live on the air, but I can give you an idea. It's SFH, which is still effing here. Correct? <laughs> you got it. All right. You got to tell us you the backstory. So it. we are SFH. Um, the and name, it's apparel, the, correct? It is. It's a clothing and apparel brand, but we... We feel we want to be more than that. We want to become a community, um, a community of survivors. Uh, the foundation that, that came about with SFH is a very close friend of ours, Tyler J. Southern, as I've already mentioned, is a triple amputee. But his thing is, okay, yes, I may not have all my God-given limbs, but I'm still effing here. Mm-hmm. And it stuck. Mm-hmm. So we came up a li- a, in a li- and we call it a lifestyle a lifestyle clothing. Mm-hmm. Um, and our goal is is to change the world through our clothing. We are all different survivors, warriors, and fighters uh, of different issues, whether it be uh, a shooting during a musical event, whether it be a roadside bomb or breaching a door like my buddy Tyler um, that that puts you in a position where you're like, do I still really want to be here? Mm-hmm. But the heart's still beating, you're still here. I'm like, I'm a survivor of alcohol addiction. Exactly, I'll addiction, be, absolutely. Yeah, I'll be four years sober in February, so yeah, I'm still yeah, up so, in here. <laughs> so like, like we, there's many of us, we've made it through hell, we made it out the other side, and our main goal in life being that we made it out the other side is to help others make it out the other I side. I feel such a passion to help other women. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, I help other people, but like for me, 
helping women deal with alcohol. We have a great women's strong t-shirt that I think you'll love. All right, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> Twist my arm. <laughs> Actually, I think that you sent me. Did you send me a graphic of it? I may have. Okay. Is it like a woman like flexing? You got it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you no, got it. But yes, you are dead on. Is like I have such a passion. For helping women, I have a group that I created called Pass the Buzz, Mm -hmm. and it is just for women. There's like 215 women in there that um, I post on a regular, and I'm not, I don't sit there and manage them. I just post my experiences or I post whatever is on my mind. And I, every time I end that post with DM me if you need me, I'm here. That's and, awesome. And I will respond. Like if somebody sends me a message, I'll respond. If they want to set up a call, call I'll respond because I w- <clears throat> I'm not going to tell them what to do. I'm going to tell them what I did. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell them what I did to overcome it. And, and just having someone who has a shared experience. Mm-hmm. Well, and just somebody that's willing to listen. I mean, you don't mm-hmm. even have to share at all. Sometimes mm-hmm. they just want somebody to listen. So do you feel that a lot or do you get that a lot when veterans are like, I'm going through this and you can sit there and relate? And it, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's another reason why I do what I do is others can try to relate to those that's been through the experiences that we've been through. But until you have another veteran that's been through similar experiences, mm-hmm. it's hard to be able to relate with one another so having these veteran outreach and realizing hey there's other veterans out there going through the same thing you're going through hey let's get it through it together Mm -hmm. and by doing it together it'll make all of us stronger and we can help Mm -hmm. more people so so with the what other what all apparel do you sell because i like i like tank tops we have tanks. We have uh, we have tanks for the females. We do not have tanks for the guys yet. Um, the the racerback tanks. Yes, perfect. Yes. Uh, and Actually, tees. I have one on now. I know it looks I like know. one there shirt. <laughs> Tees and hoodies and hats and um, a few other things. Uh, we have multi- we have a few designs now. Our goal is to try to get a design out every month. Once again, another young company. Uh-huh. Uh, we haven't been around uh, that long, so. So we're getting the wheels going mm-hmm. and they're finally going forward and we're, we're pushing on. <laughs> I say, okay, so you have like a whole slew of different de- or like styles that you can order from Absolutely. different colors? Uh, right now, uh, most of them are black. Okay, Most I of like our black. shirts are black. Mm-hmm. Um, there it has <laughs> been a request for different colored shirts and everything mm-hmm. and we're looking into that and taking that into consideration um, we also do um, a SFH where if there's a business that would like for us to help design their shirt. Okay, that's a will, cool we'll service. We'll put our, our label will probably be on the sleeve or just on the back, very small. And then um, we will send it to our designers and take a look at it and put something together mm-hmm. for that business. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Another thing with our business, our goal is to once a certain amount of income comes in, 50% of all of our income that comes in is going to go to a different nonprofit That's every month. Gonna, I, I know, um, me too. <laughs> and, it's not, and, it's, and it's not just veterans. Anything that needs uh, needs support, addiction, mm-hmm. um, suicide right. survivors, Prevention. just, mm-hmm. you know, any anything that... Yeah. That, like I said, they've pushed through it, but they're still mm-hmm. still here. here. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be here together, and we're gonna help one another. So I absolutely recommend you going to be in ice because mm-hmm. I know I know you've been to mine before because you subbed. I um, but I would want you to come back, and she's in a separate BNI, and then Mike Heyman's in one too. Because I mean, that's a, something that you can really plug in BNI is being able to do custom shirts for Definitely. different for different and situations. especially when a uh, part of that's going to help these different organizations mm-hmm. it's so yes. powerful so mm-hmm. yeah absolutely so yes we'd love our custom sfh to get up and running so any companies that are interested in checking mm-hmm. us out and giving us a chance please do mm-hmm. um we can be found at we are sfh um dot com <laughs> <laughs> i get those two mixed up a lot Trust me, we are sfh.com um we all we're also on um facebook as sfh and uh our clothing and everything's available on our website you, can say, see so the flashes. Whole process, you don't have a brick and mortar as of right now you don't have we a, do not have a brick okay. and mortar it is all online online sales Correct. um where do you see that going do you s- eventually see having a, a, your own we would um, love to have a brick and mortar uh-huh. we're not uh, we're, we haven't got there uh there is a goal uh-huh. um 
we can't look at the goal yet because we're still setting the foundation. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. But uh, there, there's many goals out there. But mainly the biggest thing, myself, Brian Wise, Tyler J. Southern, Joe Bachman, and Jason Seeland want to see happen is for a community to come together and stop with all the hate and mm-hmm. start with the love and start giving back to one another and looking out for one another because we do not do that in this country anymore. Yeah. Well, do you remember back in the day, and I don't know if they still have it, but you know how they had like army surplus stores? Oh, yeah. Do they still have those? I have no idea. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> looked for one specifically, probably but in, I think they Probably do. in the military right. towns maybe, yeah. but yeah. I because haven't seen one in this area That in would a while. be a really cool place for your merch to be right. if you think about it. Um, or even a gun store. I don't know. I just, I'm thinking about like it would be a cool place just to have like a rack of it. Um, I can connect you with a lot of business owners for that as well. (laughs) Would that be something that you guys would be able to Uh, do? Like do like a pre-order. And so you can say you can find this apparel at, Force or firearms or whatever. That would be something that I definitely have to talk to my partner about, but uh-huh. I'm, I'm sure it's something that we may be in, in interested in doing. Yeah, definitely. All right. I want to hear about some of the other designs because I know about the woman's one. Yeah. What are some of okay. the other ones? So, um, well, let's talk about the, the SFH design itself. The SFH design is um, the letters SFH and they're broken. If you notice, there's tears in the SFH and there's scars in the SFH and everything like that. That's to to emanate the scars and everything. That heartbeat right there is Tyler Southern coming back to life after about 13 times coding. Do you think that when you do the video, you could have the design come up while he's doing 100%. this? Very cool. So, uh, and that that's the reason between the heartbeat. Times. No matter what apparel we make, that heartbeat will be on it. Very and it cool. will be green. Mm-hmm. So um, we have that color patented for us, and that is our signature. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have a heart that has the SFH Band-Aids on it, um, basically saying, Yes, you can heal from a broken heart and you can move forward and help others through your troubles and trials that you went through, um, get through the other side because you're still here and there's still people that want you to be here. And I, and it's been great since then. I mean, you work, you work with all your closest friends and Mm -hmm. you all see things very similarly. And the goal for everyone is to erase the hate and bring back people looking out for one another instead Mm -hmm. of doing the opposite. (laughs) (laughs) I understand that. So we have about two minutes left. So I mean, I think really like I I want to combo your first segment in with this segment because they are, you know, you've got the nonprofit for the helping with veterans, but then you've also, I mean, I even know you're selling, you are, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not a nonprofit, but you're still Giving back. Giving back so much. So definitely um, give all the contact information for both that stuff now. And then, like, I want to also be able to port. I might even put it on the Bad Radio website. Mm -hmm. A link to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like you said, and take your time. Absolutely. Like I said, that's why I wanted to start this right (laughs) now. Yes, no problem. So, um, Florida Chapter for the Love of a Veteran. uh, Veteran SGB um, for PTSD symptoms is... uh, the website is for the love of a veteran dot org and the Facebook page is Florida Chapter for the Love of a Veteran. And we have We Are SFH and uh SFH is we are SFH dot com and you can find us on SFH on Facebook and Instagram as well. Awesome. Um, all right, Melissa. Oh gosh, I'm up. All right. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I didn't sign- I'll signal for you. It's okay. <laughs> I was lost in, in what you're talking about. But um, I am Melissa Jacob. I own Striking Brand. I do photography and videography for businesses. You can find me at www.strikingbrand.com and any social media platform. Really, it's just Striking Brand. So mm-hmm. nice and easy to find. Yes, actually, I know what you mean. Though he's got that like that voice yeah, that's like really soothing. <laughs> Um, Well, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, We are at the end of our two-hour show, and it was fantastic. Um, You can reach me at Angela at BadRadio.com. Have a fantastic week. Florida Man Radio.